Hey guys, John Christensen here, Avid Customer Success. So say you shot a film or video and you recorded the audio separately on a device specifically designed for audio recording. This gives you better control over levels and quality, mic placement, you know, smart move. But how do you get the footage and audio synced as efficiently as possible into one clip so you can start editing ASAP? In this tutorial, that's what we're going to cover. Syncing a separate video and audio file together in Symphony and MIDI Composer. This also means I'm going to show you a good method of organization for this process that might make things a little less stressful. Okay, so first of all you have to have a video and audio file you want to join together. Once you have that, you can get started. I know for a fact that these two clips, the ones that are highlighted, happen to go together. We need to make a sync point on each clip at a point at which the two clips are precisely lined up. If you have time code, syncing is much easier, and you can skip the next step. If you aren't shooting with time code though, like DSLRs, you can follow along with me. So what you want to do is open up each clip and find a point for syncing. If you have a slate like I do, you just want to set the in point to the clapper. And you can do that with I. If you don't have a slate, you can find a clearly defined difference between two frames, whether it be an audio click with pre-existing audio or a specific motion. A good place I like to look for is when someone starts to talk. There's almost always a quick shift in sound there. Then do the audio. Three, three A, take two. And you can turn on caps lock so that your arrow keys will actually scrub through sound. And there it is. And then you're all set for the next step, syncing. So Symphony and Media Composer have a great tool called AutoSync that will take clips in a bin and sync them together to create one, instantly. The way I like to go about doing this is making a bin called Temp, that temporarily hosts the video and audio files I want to sync. Then I'll make a new bin for the synced clips down here. Feel free to arrange your bins in a way that makes moving around clips much easier for you. This is just the way I have it set up for this particular instance. I have my source vid and source audio right here and then I can move into the temp bin and straight into the sync clips. It makes mouse moving a little bit easier. It helps to give yourself a path to flow around the bins with as you'll be moving clips from one bin to another for this process quite a bit. Once you're ready, drag both the clips you want into the temp bin. There you go. And then highlight the specific clips and you can either go up to bin or you can go down to the fast menu, click on that, and then click auto sync. It's going to pop up with this menu here. It will ask you how you want to sync the clips. You can do in points, which is the way that we just did. If you had a tail slate instead of a normal slate, you would want to do out points. And then source time code would be if you had time code. So we're going to do in points, and then we're going to click OK. And there you go. Instantly, it made the clip. Scene 3A, take 2. It will be obvious which clip is the new clip, since Avid labels it sync. You should definitely go and check out the new video to see if it actually does match up. Sunglasses, huh? There you go, matches up. If it doesn't match up, just go back, make some new endpoints, make sure the file for the audio is correct, and then try again. From here, what you want to do is you want to drag your new sync clip into the sync clip bin. You can rename it if you want, and then you want to bring your source audio and source video files back where they belong. When you do this, Avid will automatically stack the files into the specific order at which they were put in. So if you're doing a long list of items, it will actually put them in an order that you can understand. From there, just move on and do the next clips until you're done. Just a small tip here before I go. If you name your clips alphabetically or numerically so as to align them to a specific order, Avid can automatically set them up in that order in your bin. So say for the sake of the test, we change this one to B, and we change this one to A, then if I double click on the name here, this will sort it, and there you have it. This can save you some frustration down the road when you know exactly where something is based on the order of its name. That's it for this tutorial guys, I'll see you next time.